I'm still waiting on cement blocks. They can't seem to get them in. So I gotta find other things to do in the meantime. So it's kind of like working out of order. So right now I'm gonna pour the floor for the entryway. I got it all set up to go. I just gotta mix it and wheel it in there. I still have two courses of block left to do on most of this north wall. I gotta do a row of 12 inch block and then a row of 6 inch block. I wanted to be able to do those other lintels. So what did I end up doing is I found a couple of the uh, broken ones that I thought I could patch together and I glued them together and then filled them up with concrete and I was able to do the lintels over the root cellar and over the doorway into the greenhouse. On the root cellar I dressed it up a little bit with some stone in there. So now I'm going to do the floor though. I'm able, I'll be able to do that. I got the wire mesh down and got it leveled up and I just gotta mix some concrete up. And my water hose is kinked off up above.
I got lots of mixing to do again. So I can reach from doorway to doorway. I got a nine foot street. And I can just <coughs> shuffle along here. To level it off. But in here, I'll have to go strictly by the line I got drawn on the wall at the top of the floor. So what I'll do on each side where the line is, I'll put a little concrete and float it to the line. Hard to video this while I'm doing it. When I fill the center in, I'll get a six foot screed and I can just kind of hold it to the leveled off line area. Got a, a six foot metal stud screed up here and just hold it on the ends and slide it across the cement. I like to make a couple passes. Uh, put some of the layers up. It's a lot easier with two people, but one person can get by. Float it quick as long as I'm off here. Get all those air bubbles out and your rocks down. Then we take some more concrete and wheel it in.
as a full plane just flew over. Mix some more. It looks like I need just a little bit more, about <clears throat> four or five shovelfuls. I think maybe I'll just mix that up by hand instead of the mixer. I just need just that little bit to fill in. Well, it looks like I'm getting a propane delivery right now. I guess I'm going to have to cut this short. Well, it only took three shovelfuls up to fill that in some of the block. And the water's starting to go off the surface. When that happens, that means it's starting to set up. You need to get out there and start leveling it off. I got some by the door there, but still a little bit too soft to get out there. So I'll have to keep a close eye on it. And then keep checking it. I'm going over it with a float right now. And I see that I got a piece of wire mesh sticking up. So I'm going to see if I can get that down or bend it or something. I think I got it. Stick a little bit of concrete in there. See if I can mush it back down. That looks like looks like I got it down. I 
have it all floated now one time. Uh, it's too soft to do anything else with it right now. I'll let it go for maybe 45 minutes, an hour. I'll come back and check it and see if I can get on it and float it out a little bit more and maybe trawl it. I've gone over it once with the trawl and I think I'm going to call it good enough. I wouldn't want it any smoother than that. Yeah, it looks pretty decent. Now we just got to get good and hard before we do too much walking on it. This floor was less than a yard of concrete. It took four bags of Portland cement. And with the wire mesh in there, it probably cost about $75 to do this. It's a little bit smaller than the chicken coop. It's about six by nine, it's about four inches thick. And this was just a one man job, and for $75, it came out pretty darn good. Thanks for watching.